Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Well, y'all, as my friend Tracy would say right now, as Tracy would say, the cheese is slid all the way off the cracker. <laughs> Shout out to you this morning, T. Shout out to you this morning. I love you. I love you. Love you to death. To life. Anyway, <laughs> if T was here, that's exactly what T would say. T would be like, they cheese them slid off the crack. Now, that's about the most mildest way that I can say this. Uh, and I want to start with Donald Trump on Meet the Press. And then that interview should make all of y'all that are not um, just so abused that you don't even know if you're going or coming, it should have made every one of y'all cringe because you should be, that should let you further know that we have a psychopath in the uh, White House. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Um, he looked like he'd been tooting cane. In fact, um, I'm not so sure he hasn't. America has gotten herself in a mess. And, it, and it's the mess that a lot of countries think we deserve for all the mess we didn't put out on, in, in the vibrations we didn't put out on the planet. So, once I further saw that, and we got a chance to get a jump start, and I don't know why it's not happening. He had already told you he's not going to leave office if he loses. I mean, that to me, or he's got to think about it? <laughs> which y'all which I want to know? <laughs> Article 25. For him, Article 25. What's the hold up? And all you good thinking white people, let me appeal to you. What in the world y'all have to dis um, um, associate and go cold turkey from your relatives who think like this? I, I mean, I know you do. If you got the spirit of John Brown and then you got a uh, antichrist in your family like this, how can y'all stand on in the same space? Uh, you either hot or you cold. This is the time when you draw the line in the sand. This Donald J. Trump is pathetic. And I mean, you know, he's just a figurehead out there. This whole system is corrupt. But the but but I want to say regime. But the administration in there right now, I don't want to say it's one that we all as Americans deserve. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say comedically that this has got to happen and this is the way old Babylon is going to fall. I don't want to say it. So you ain't hearing from me. I still have a beacon of hope like the light on the hill. That we can change this around. You can't change it around by even entertaining the thought of Kanye West representing the United States of America. Kanye is in manic mode. He also needs to have a rest at Shady Pine, as my daughter would say. Donald Trump, Kanye West are types of narcissists that can't hide it. They are just off the chain. Because this stuff runs in a continuum, right? So, you know, you got narcissists. Or either you up here to the, you know, right here is even spectrum. Now, this is to negatives, you know, whatever. So, they off the chain. And to think that these people even showed up in South Carolina to even hear what Donald Trump had to say is my, I mean, um, Kanye West had to say is mind boggling for me. Because the first thing I'm saying is, how can you even entertain voting 
this is not supposed to be a joke where we just are voting anybody that people that don't have any political education uh, that don't have any um, knowledge of how government works because they took civics out of school so you're going to put some money in there that has no knowledge how civics work um, they're narcissistic and have meltdowns every few months and these are the people now that we relegated and put our country in the hands of or we wouldn't mind doing it because you would think after Trump you wouldn't even entertain somebody like Donald Trump I mean it's kind of what but it's going to show you how far, far we've fallen as a country um, and it looks like we will be going to hell in the handbasket if things don't change. We're going to hell in the handbasket, and I'm sure that's not what any of us want. You know, America has been the Khalifa of the world. And for those of y'all who know what Khalifa means in Arabic, it means, you know, the keeper. The watchman over everybody. The Khalifa. And we haven't done a good job of being the overseers of, of the world, God's children all over the planet. We've been bullies. We've been thieves. We've been rapists. And somebody got to pay for that. Or either we got to go all the way off to the other side so the scales of my eye can kind of come up a little bit and balance this shit some. Because so right now we like a whip on one side. And I don't want to go no further for y'all. Put me in the boat with Kanye West. <laughs> With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.